Hey guys, welcome to Championship Muscle. I'm here with Sean Dudding. We're at Fortify Fitness here in Valrico, Florida. And I've been working with Sean for about, about a year and a half now, give or take. And Sean and I have been friends in the gym. I started tweaking him last year, you know, changing the routine he was doing, the kind of heavy, sort of heavy, four sets, eight to 10 reps, changing him up a little bit obviously brought the drop sets into play and tweaked his diet where he lost about 10 pounds. But when you looked at his photos, he looked about 15 pounds heavier. Um, definite change in body composition. So I'm gonna introduce you to Sean and we're gonna hear Sean's side of the story and we're gonna take it from here. Sean, welcome to Championship Muscle. Tell everybody what your training was like before you and I hooked up. Um, so when I met Rich, I was doing uh, sets between four to six, um, sometimes six to eight, and um, he started telling me about drop sets. So it took me a little while to want to get used to it and try it, to stick with it. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yep. And uh, I definitely saw results, but I had to stick with the program to, mm -hmm. so. Um, when you're doing the four to six, or the four sets, the six to 12 rep stuff, what was the difference between doing that kind of a workout to doing the drop set routine that I had introduced you to? Um, well, my strength was, I was strong, but I didn't really, I, my side, I was, I was bigger, but you couldn't really tell muscle wise. I kind of looked more, uh, I guess, blocky or chunky right. looking. Um, so, and then when I went over to the drop sets, it was definitely a heck of a lot more burn to it. Right. What were the pumps like? Uh, insane. <laughs> Kind of like skin splitting? Yes, and the good thing I like about it too is my joints didn't hurt afterwards. Exactly. You're using that moderate weight with the high repetitions in that first set of drops, getting that 20 to 25 reps and then dropping the weight, reps to failure, dropping the weight, reps to failure, and so on. Um, by the time you were done with your third exercise, because that's all I usually recommend is three, maybe four exercises, How'd you feel when you walked out of the gym? On leg day, I wanted to puke, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it was good though. You definitely uh, burned a, a full tank of gas doing it. Yes, yeah. for sure. When you did your other workouts, you spent a lot more time in the gym, yeah. a lot more rest between sets, and the pump wasn't really what you were getting with the drop sets. Yeah, I'd never feel sore the next day. Right, and with the drop sets, you're always sore. Yep. That's good. Um, any plans on competing in the future? I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about doing the men's physique. Okay, we could definitely get you there. Um, what was your diet like before I tweaked your diet last year? What were you doing diet-wise? Um, I was just eating whatever I wanted to, kind of counting calories in my head. Okay, you weren't really concerned about how much protein or how much complex carbs or no. how much fats. And then I stepped into the picture, tweaked yeah. you here and there and... Increased my protein for sure and uh, I wasn't eating nowhere near enough protein. Right. So. Um, when your wife had posted that photo of you on Facebook that time, wow, huge difference. It was the back shot. Yeah. You were bigger, like I think you might have been 10 to 12 pounds bigger in the one picture, and then it showed you the 10 to 12 pounds leaner, and you looked 15 pounds heavier in that photo where you were leaner. Yeah, and it, it helps that uh, you always say don't worry about the scale, even though it's kind of hard to look at the scale and see sure. it dropping down, but when you see the sure. photos of the difference in that year. Right. The numbers on the scale will drive you mentally crazy. Everyone likes to step on the scale every day to see what their body weight is. Your body weight fluctuates mm -hmm. so much, you know, three or four pounds a day, depending on how many meals you have, how much water you drink, yeah. how many times you've gone to the bathroom. Um, the numbers on the scale mean absolutely nothing unless you're a competitor that has to go into a height and weight class. Yeah. Well, then you start looking at the numbers on the scale a little differently. You've got to tweak a few things to bring yourself down to that level or, or the level where you need to be for a weight class. But when you're training like you are now to put quality muscle size on, it's quality over quantity. You could weigh 170 pounds and look every bit 185, 190 pounds oh, yeah. based on your conditioning and conditioning is everything. And I can actually see my abs now too, so I'm happy about that as well. That's good, yeah. that's good. Um, would you recommend this drop set training to anyone? Oh, 100%, I like it. I say stick with it for six months, see how you like it. You even got your training partner, Ralph, doing it. Yep, yeah, 
I, it took me a little while to talk him into it, but he got into it. <laughs> and I see you guys yeah. every morning. We're here at 5.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. You guys are doing your drop sets. And the first things that came out of my mouth when I'm in the gym is, look out, here they go. Yep, drop yep. set time. Oh, yeah. And he makes sure I'm doing my drop sets, too. I check up on you. I <laughs> definitely do. Anything else you want to add to this before we cut it? No. I'm, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. I appreciate you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share my videos with you. I've got a lot of good content, and there's something for everybody in my YouTube videos. I've got about 34 or 35 up there now, and I guarantee you, whether you're the, the beginner, the advanced, intermediate, professional, there is something for you. I was trained by one of the best trainers in the world back in the day, Bob Gruskin, may you rest in peace. I learned it all, and I competed among the best in the world back in the day. So please reach out to me if there's anything I can do for you. Thank you again from Championship Muscle, and we'll see you at the next video.